Hi. Welcome to Brazen Brits. Before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, this week we have a really cool episode. Yeah. We hope. So, um, <laughs> actually, you've already seen clips of Kenny um, tedding and cutting our field. Um, so, um, this is going to be a week of Kenny, I'm afraid. So, thank you, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny is our neighbour. Um, we, uh, we obviously have a farm in Virginia. We went on an RV trip for six months. Desperate to get back out, but hey, we can't at the moment. Um, but we uh, had a whole bunch of farm animals and they would, you know, eat the grass in our fields and things. Obviously we didn't have any because we went away for six months, so we uh, rehomed most of our animals. Um, and so one of our fields just completely went to, uh, went to hay. So um, again, we don't have any animals to feed the hay to, but Kenny said, hey, if I can hay it, can I keep the hay? So it's a hay, it was a hay hay. It was yeah, a hay hay How many hays are in that? Yeah, okay, and <laughs> can, how many hays do we say in this episode? <laughs> Um, so, so that's what we've done. So Kenny um, came round and he cut it and he tedded it, which means you keep saying the word tedded. That's nice. Tedded. What's that, that mean? Don't know. Okay, so they, you cut it. You cut it like a like a hedge trimmer, right? So it's really low on the ground. So yeah. you cut the grass, then it all just clumps down. Okay. And then um, the machine that you saw going round kind of fluffs it all up and aerates it. Yeah. And then you leave it for a couple of days, and then Kenny's going to come back. And uh, bail it. And bail it. Yeah, I got you. So, I just never heard the word tedded. Ted, yeah, it's called tedded. it's called a tedder, but I'm assuming that you ted grass. No, you ted it. Whatever. Yeah. So anyway, <laughs> so that's what happens. So and we're doing that, but we also need Kenny for something else. Now we had uh, an area of of our land where we used to grow vegetables and things like that. It got completely overgrown. We tried for what three years mm. um, to try and grow stuff. We just didn't have time. Um, and the weeds overtook it and it just got crazy so it just turned into a complete mess so we decided to start from scratch we took the good soil out and we um, uh, we got Kenny to uh, it. what's it called rake it yeah rake it flat to turn it back into a field so that we can start again smaller scale yeah one that we can manage yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway so let's go check that out hopefully you can hear me okay over the noise of the tractor but what we've asked Kenny to do here is uh, we had a whole bunch of uh, raised beds in here that we built. Um, we had a whole corn patch. We had a whole bunch of other things in here, um, just directly into the ground. And um, it completely overtook everything. We just could not keep up with it. We had tomatoes coming out everywhere. Um, uh, even though we have blocked off the chickens, the chickens would get in and they would eat the tomatoes. Or tomatoes, sorry, if you're from the UK. Sorry, Natalie. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, and then um, they would poop everywhere, and so we had random tomato plants growing everywhere to the point where they were even growing on our driveway. Um, but anyway, uh, the point being that we had these really nice raised beds. We didn't design them very well. Um, we had a whole bunch of nice soil put in there, um, and it just overgrew. We could not keep up with it at all. Um, so uh, after three years of fighting it, um, we've decided to just scale it completely back to a more manageable level. Uh, it looked great for a little while, and then, uh, and then not so much towards the end of the season. So we've asked Kenny to completely level everything out, um, get it all flat again. There's no raised beds, we took them all out and we're gonna start from scratch. Okay, so it's been a few weeks since Kenny came in and flattened and tillered and all that fun stuff. The kitchen garden, as I like to call it. Um, as you can see, the grass has finally grown, so we're going to give you a little update of what's been happening. The first thing that's happened is my shed has finally been built. Um, so thank you to Carrie's son and his friend and Lawrence for finally getting this finished. It means I can get all my gardening equipment out here. We did manage to plant some stuff this year, but we were really late, obviously, because of 
just getting everything up together. But I'll show you roughly what we've, what we've done this year. All right, so first up is the corn patch. We planted probably about 150 corn plants this year. Um, looks like it's almost ready to be picked, which is great. Um, as you can see, we are still battling the weeds in this area, which is rather annoying. Uh, over here, we have the zucchini patch, which again is starting to become a little overrun with weeds. Um, little tip when you're planting your rows, make sure there's enough room in between to get the mower down, because I forgot and Lawrence gets really mad about that. We've got some beans here, at least I think they're beans, they might also be peas because I saw one the other day and went, not really sure what it is. I'll grab one and you tell me what you think it is. <laughs> it's got to be a pea, right? It's got to be peas. But they're not like filling out, so I don't know if it's a snap pea maybe. It's bad that I don't remember what I've planted. A pretty purple flower though. <laughs> Well, it was interesting because you did put those uh, little white things in and labelled everything and then it rained and all the ink ran off, so... Yes, I'll show you that on the raised these, beds. Uh, everything here is white label vegetables. <laughs> I do know that this is the Chinese long bean. Um, this is a new vegetable for us this year, but it is really tasty. I do recommend trying this if you haven't before. Um, I'm not sure I have any. There's one there. This one's not very long, but they get to like like a foot long, um, and then we've just been throwing them in stir fries. And uh, Eileen sent me a couple of recipes to try with them, but they're really tasty. I recommend those. Right, let's go over this side. So myself and Mia, who is like our farm hand, uh, are we putting, is she got an interview with her somewhere, haven't we? We do. Okay. Um, she came over and she's a superstar and she helped me just quickly knock together some of these raised beds just to get something planted this year. So they're not the best, they're a little bit wonky and you know, not painted or anything, but they'll do for now. So our elevated raised beds, we have mystery vegetable number one, <laughs> because the, I don't even know where my sticks are. So, there we go. That one, that, that's, that's what's in here. <laughs> Because I did write in with a Sharpe, I'm um, with a Sharpe, yeah, um, <laughs> and it still came off. So, yeah, cabbage, I think. I know that this is okra or okra, as some call it, um, and I have no idea when it's ready to pick, but I'm very excited about trying this for the first time. Was it fried green okra? Oh, something like that. Uh, the cucumbers didn't do so well, honestly. Um, I just think a mixture of lack of water and not getting to them in time. They're starting to take off now though, so maybe we'll get some towards the end, don't know. We have another just normal runner bean here. And some cherry tomatoes. Um, and some peppers. And then mystery vegetable number two. No idea what this is, again. Answers on a postcard or in the comments below, as Lawrence would say, <laughs> like normal people. Uh, and some more peppers here. And then we have a little carrot box, which isn't doing so well, but we have a little carrot box over here. But have you noticed that using these raised beds, we uh, there are less weeds to... to... Yes, that's kind right. of the whole point of we building these, um, was to manage the weeds and because now they're higher, it doesn't hurt my back so much. Lazy. Uh, yeah, as all gardeners will know. Um, it, yeah, it gets painful weeding and at least here I can just slightly lean over and pick, 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 and job done. So it's easy to keep these beds clear, much easier. I would like a hundred more, <laughs> but we haven't got time. So this year we decided to put the tomatoes into tubs. These tubs we used... Oh no, we didn't do the potatoes in these, did we? You did the hay bale potatoes last year. Mm. They were cool. Oh, you meant to cool. do straw, but we had lots of hay. So Lawrence was like, I'm going to do potatoes and hay bales. That's also a very fun little thing to do. Um, so we've got a variety of tomatoes, all bought from Paige's Pit Stop. Um, we've got the beef ones, the Roma, the cherry. Um, she was selling them like for nothing towards the end because they were they were becoming a hassle. So we just ended up getting loads. So in the next few weeks, we're going to be having tomato salads with a side of tomato. Tomato. I'm going to keep saying the word tomato correctly. Tomato. To counteract your incorrectness earlier. 
Um, so, Are we yeah. going to have that with potatoes? <laughs> and uh, okay, I can't think of anything funny. Um, <laughs> whilst we're here, we'll give you a little update on the baby turkeys. Which one's the mum? <laughs> So the babies are about four weeks old now, maybe five. Um, we're out free ranging with everyone else. They seem to be doing really well. Getting bigger. Mum's abandoned them a handful of times, so I think she's kind of over it. I think they're co-parenting as well. Mama and Jenny are both out, both doing a fantastic job. <laughs> So a couple of days ago, Kenny's dad uh, came over and tedded all of the hay that Kenny cut down. Um, they got it put in rows and then they are going to be coming back. It's dried out enough now that they're going to be coming back and they're going to bale it, which Ooh. is a really cool process. Um, luckily, I was videoing, so I didn't have to get involved, which worked out really well for me. Um, so, yeah, so that's it. So check this out. This is really cool. Um, and then we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. So